Hey, y'all, what's up? So when you try to do something so bad and you want it so bad, you go to extreme lift to get it to the point that even if they keep disappointing you, keep disappointing you, you is not stopping by any means necessary. And this is what this person did in this episode. Check this. Okay, y'all, what's up? My name is Tom Mizzle. You watch my channel, Mr. 14, and I'm back through the view of MTV Catfish, Season 8, Episode 59, Pamela and Fernando. Disclaimer, this is my second take doing this, so this view might be shorter than the last time, <laughs> last one I did. So, let's get into it, because I was like, yes, this lady, Pamela, she doing the most? Well, she was doing the most to get something out of this guy, and I'm sorry, Yes, it may have ended somewhat happy for her in a good way. I don't think that most of us would get that far. Most of us would have left a long time ago or dead this. But her persistence got what she needed. But at the same time, it was too much. Because I don't know. So I can't be fully happy because it had an happy ending. Because I was like, Okay, this guy was doing the most. And all it takes for the pressure for the show, for you get on and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is that. I wasn't buying on that. So it is what it is. If he does um, look at my um, review, I'm just let you know that it's nothing against you. It is that I will not know. And I know for me, me, you, we probably would never have talking again, especially if you kept doing all the stuff that you did in the beginning when they talk about let's get into what i can tell you what i was mean right so kaylee is the cousin of pamela she wrote the show and she was like Lee, neither came out of your help because my cousin is she's losing her mind going with this guy and doing the most so apparently she said they've been in an online dating relationship for six years yes six years never met him in person never really video chat because he said that his camera been broken for five plus years. So he had no camera. She was willing to set a phone, but I guess he didn't want the phone. I said, okay, girl, you didn't want the he didn't want the phone. Like they you you don't even want to talk to her, right? He didn't want the phone. Then she sent him four thousand dollars. Yes, four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars to whatever he needs. She sent them. Now, she did mention that he didn't really ask for the money, but she just wanted to send him because she felt like it's because it's Venezuela and it was in crisis. And I, I know how it is because she's from Venezuela. So she know how it is over there. So she want to help him as much as she can. So he don't struggle. And not only that, every year he kept promising to be there for a birthday, for Christmas, for anything. And he kept setting her up. You know how many times he stood her up? Not one, not two, 20 times. Over 20 times, he stood her up. So, he's came up with for five years. He spent $4,000 on him. And he stood you over 20 times. And all that, you still hopeful to see him. Or to be with him. To find out what's going on in his love. Because, you know, the whole story is that, yes, I was in my downtime. I was going through a lot. I think she said she said wait so it's like he was he's been there for her. he had an instagram say you're beautiful and they've been talking ever since but most of the conversations in spanish because they've been talking each other in spanish and also like that now she came to the u.s and study in utah medical assistant program she graduated and she had her own business right now and she has a job and own business self-care so she does nails she does eyebrows she does pedicure you know a lot of stuff like that and I said, okay, cool, girl. You you had a lot of going on for yourself, but you're doing a lot. Now, she said that she spent the $4,000. Now, she said part of the money was for a knee surgery that he supposed to have done. So I said, okay, you did a knee surgery, you spent money on that. Where's the receipts? Did he send you a recovery photos or anything to know, let you know that he was doing the surgery? Like, or he sent a recovery pictures 
that, that the surgery was successful and thank you for the money. Like she said, also said under the food, the thing for trips, things that he needed or need wants, even though he didn't really ask her directly, but she was sending him for him to have the comfortability. I was like, okay, girl, you do a lot. To the point that she was doing all that four thousand dollars, her parents or somebody was like, Oh, hell no, you might get kicked out of this house, girl, because you're doing the most. You're doing the most because you send him money, you don't know who this guy is, you it's a lot of money too. For what? And you really did FaceTime him? Like, no, no one he looked like. Now, not only that, he sent five different pictures of guys. Five different guy pictures. Because she kept pulling them out and it's like, this is not you. And he sent another one. He said, this is me. He said, another one. This is me. I'm like, what? Girl, you desperate housewives going on. This is like an episode of Desperate Housewives. Like, that's you. What? You go to the stream length. To do what you need to do now. The only thing is that you're not married, but this is desperation going on here. And she's a nice girl to do all that just because he wants some love and everything. The pictures was guy was nice looking, whatever. So I was like, girl, okay. But now also he mentioned that he has a best friend, and he just threw that in there. He had a best friend, and she'd been talking to the best friend a lot. And she said one time it's kind of weird. I said, damn, man, you know, it's almost weird. <laughs> like, so um, weird that she was talking to Fernando on the phone. And then you know how they fell asleep on the phone. Then they fell asleep. And then I think at six o'clock in this time, he she heard on the phone, like, Dan, get up the phone. Dan, get up, get up, get up, Dan. So she said, Oh, so they thinking that it could be Dan all this time. It could be him all this time. And you might be thinking you were talking to Fernando, but it wasn't Fernando. It's been Daniela. I said, oh, child. Hope it's not. So they was like, what can you, like, what? If you try to meet him and you get to meet him, what will be your cutoff point? Because he has been lying to you. He stood you up all this time. It's been like six years. He stood you up over 20 times. He keeps seeing different pictures. He has been lying from the jump. So what if you find out his name is not Fernando? She said, I'm okay with that. So what if he never lived in Venezuela? Oh, I'm okay with that. What if he's not the guys in the photo? Oh, I'm okay with that. What if he might have kids? Oh, I'm okay with that. I said, girl, what you not okay with? What are you not okay with? And she said, she's not okay if Fernando is a female, she don't get down like that. I said, okay, girl, because I'm like kind of nervous a little bit. <laughs> so I like, but still, it's still kind of crazy that she was kept going, kept going, kept going because she determined to be with a guy, at least to be with a guy. So I said, okay. This whole investigation, Neve had this program that he could search multiple photos at one time. And he searched the photos and they came into a match to Louiso. When they got Louiso, they searched that name and found out it was an Instagram page with a lot of followers. And it seemed like he's out in the pop. Hello. All right. So I don't know if I look like he had a boyfriend. So it could not be him. But the, the pictures does match his profile. So it's actually the person pictures that Fernando was taken from. But it's act not at Fernando. All right. And, and it seemed like since he got to look like he had a boyfriend and he's proud, he couldn't be talking to you, girl. So if it's somebody else he was talking to, right? And no, that's not the person you're talking to because he won't be interested in you, okay? So then they start the phone numbers. The Fernando phone number came up to Venezuela. And Daniela photo, phone number came up to something to PA. So I said, I kind of weird because she's the best friend and she's in Venezuela. Why her number would be a PA? But sometimes they might have a foreign number. Can we say some people got friends who live in our country might have foreign numbers? Whatever. It is what it is. So they search Fernanda IG. His page is empty. They search Daniela IG. Her page was basically empty, but it was like a story time. Say, um, happy to be in America. Live the life. And she tagged Fernando. And I said, okay, that's crazy. So the only person they can see is have a clear indicator that the suspect will be is Daniela. Because 
you've seen her face, and that's the person you've been talking to the most. So she's the only one connected because it seems crazy how she planted this the Instagram, all that stuff like that. It just seems convenient that it's like one person trying to cover their tracks and make it seem like it's multiple person, but it's gonna be one person. No, that's what it is. So they were saying, you know what, we gotta text Fernando. Cause that's that, that's the only person we text because we don't got no leads. And that's it. Only strength is connecting the other, but we need to get something else going on. So, hey, we're going to text Fernando. See what's up. Text Fernando and say, come on, we know who you are, and everything like that. Oh, what's going on? We need to talk and everything. So, by that, now, mind you, they always brought Pamela to speed, so she knows all that stuff that I just, just stated up to that point. So, they text Fernando and say, we, we got to see what's going on. What's up? Listen, we have to make this happen. We have been talking to her. We have been working with her. And we need to make this meeting come to fruition. So he texted Daya, uh, pa Pamela. And he said, what's going on? I'm so sorry and everything. I'm sorry to hurt you. But I would like to talk to you. But I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, but not with the show. And they said, uh-uh, we can't do this, boy. Uh-uh, uh you been six years. She was trying to wait for you. So you going to talk to us. And apparently he wants to have to talk. So he said, okay, okay, I'll meet you tomorrow at 11 a.m. at this spot. Send a picture of a park in Utah. So they was like, oh, snap. So he sent a photo of Utah, and he know Utah. And she said, how the hell do you know this park every day in my area? We live in Venezuela. So Cameron said, maybe he's been in Utah all the time. And now that's kind of freaky. It's scary. And he's been in Utah all the time. And you be sending him money and all that stuff. And he can never meet you, and y'all in the same state. That is stupid and crazy and weird and psychotic, all that stuff. So tomorrow they'll meet together at that location. So they went to the location and waited. They waited, they waited a little bit. And then we saw a white car pull up. It was a delivery person with flowers. She was waiting and need to talk to her. She said, yeah, this is for Pamela. And the Pamela, the flower, she read the note and she got pissed and she got upset because she said, you know what, I wasted my time. I got to let this go. Like, this is six years. I'm ready for this to happen. And he did not show up this time. This was my last straw. I can't. Like, this is the thing. You sent me a picture for you to meet you here and you not here. And what's up? And you're going to say you apologize and it's for a beautiful queen and all that stuff. I don't know his end game go and how he set up this flower delivery. When he's all over Venezuela and everything, and got us come over here when he know he's not there to you meet her, got her thinking to go be there, and that's crazy. So they got in the car, they say, you know what? She said she had to be done. It's like too much. So he texted her and all that stuff. And he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I couldn't be there, help you like flowers, I got flowers. And she said, What's going on? Like, we gotta FaceTime because this is too much, and I need to move forward because I can't move forward. Unless I know what's going on. Now, she did say she had to let this go. But she, they said, let's get a FaceTime. So he said he wanted to do a FaceTime. I said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. We didn't do that. We had quarantine additions episodes for a long time. Now, all of a sudden, we got to go back to freaking you doing the FaceTime. Because he, technically, he's in Venezuela. Now, I got her come out there in Utah where you know he was in there. I was like, boy. So they're going to do the FaceTime. I don't have this picture. That he didn't look like a bad guy. and he No, he didn't look like a ugly person. He looked very handsome. But he said he's been insecure about his looks. That's why he was sending different pictures. So he he don't feel that way, that he looked handsome. He social awkward. He don't. He's not social light. So that's why he had his best friend, Pam, um, Daniela, to help him do things with this conversation. It's no intentions. He was not trying to mislead her and everything. Yes, he's been lying. He kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've been lying. It's that. I just don't do a lot. And every time she was asking a question, he had an answer for it. He had an answer for it. He had an answer for it. I said, it seems like he really know what he's going to say to say. Now, also in show, he said, and goes that he's trying to get his papers so he can go to um states in January so they could be actually be together. I said, um, oh. So they're going back and forth. She was asking him questions. He's hand to answer. He said he apologized. She seemed like she was buying it and everything and loving and everything. So he said he got the papers. He was trying to come to um, states. That was she really lit up. And she said, oh, my God. 
and he saw he really want to see her. It seemed like they were so happy to see each other. And now I was sitting here and look like this. I was like, okay. I mean, she's happy and she's happy. And that's what it is. What can I say? Like I said, I don't know me personally would have went through all that. I went not no six years. Now it's one thing we was together and he was in a relationship for six years, going back and forth and trying to build things, that's different. But where we haven't been knowing each other, we don't even know what each our face look like. He probably know what you look like, but y'all never face to face. And you send him money, he stood you up, doing all this stuff, not really talking on the phone like that. And only three times out of the figure six years y'all been on the phone, like really. I was like, that's too much. All because you hoping that is a man. Basically, no matter what his situation is, you just hope it's a man. It's hoping is you talking to someone. And it's a guy. Two months later, long story short, he goes to the embassy to get his passport. Supposedly, he gets his passport that week, and he wants to come down to the state to be with her. And I said, hey, they ha they're happy. They want to see each other. They love it. And that's it. But like I say, I don't know how many of us who watched it, this episode would have went that length that she did and would have waited that long for someone. If you have, let me know in the comment section. If you don't, also let me know in the comment section, right? So please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how you feel about this episode. And I'll talk to you all later.